Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create one click, one prompt, faceless videos. And not only that, you're going to be able to create these videos and they are monetizable on YouTube because they have great stock video, stock imagery applied to them. And you have to, if you have zero technical skills or if you're in a time crunch and you're new to YouTube or you just need to get something done, this could be the solution for you. Let me give you an example. Okay, so I've done an example, and one of them here is I just clicked on this. Like, all I did was typed in to this Battle of Stalingrad, and then I clicked on Generate a Video. Now, it's going to do some analysis and find the correct video, but while it does that, let me show you what it came up with, because I've already run one example of this through. This is, this is really remarkable. I'm going to go back to my VLC player here, and I'm going to hit play and check this out. Have you ever wondered about the turning point of the Second World War? the moment that marked the beginning of the end for the Axis powers. See how good this is? This is really, really high quality video and it's, it's footage that is selected and it's intelligently selected. I literally did not select any of this stuff. This was automatically applied. If I move forward a little bit, you'll see here, I'll give you a few more examples. Here's one. Soviet leader, Joseph Stalin. The city located- This is nice in Russian, but maybe I wouldn't have selected this footage. It's a little bit too, saturated and greeny, but you can swap out uh, footage and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Let's take a little bit of a look more forward and then I'll show you how to do that. On the banks of the Volga River was Nazis controlled nearly nine Another example here, we've got soldiers running up here with their weapons. of the devastated city. A soldier that's been hurt in battle. And then and to cap it off. To their advantage. Starved for resources and un the operation of Uranus, of course. So there we go. This is an example. Let's go back and let me show you what we've got here. So once I've clicked on uh, create it and I've created generate, it'll ask you a few questions like it does here. I'm creating this for history enthusiasts. I want it to be dramatic. I want it to be for YouTube. I'll click continue. And then that's it. It is now literally generating the video that you just saw. It's now in the process of generating. That said, it does take a few minutes sometimes to create this. So if you have other tasks you need to do, go attend to those and then come back in a couple minutes and this should be cooked up and ready to go. I will come back when it's ready and show you the next step. All right, welcome back. So here is the first kick at the can here from literally, remember all I did was type in the Battle of Stalingrad. Let's see what it gave us in this example. I'll hit play, I'll turn the volume down. Watch this. Have you ever wondered how a single city could change the course of history? Welcome to the tale of the Battle of Stalingrad, the summer of 1942. Okay, so I was skipping through it, so a couple of comments. One, the accent doesn't quite work, uh, as you can imagine, but the video and the stock footage that it selected is very good, in my opinion. I'll just zoom forward here, a little bit of the stuff that I showed you earlier. But literally, if you want to export this as is, all you got to do literally right here is click on export, export video. If you want to edit it, in this case, I do want to edit it and you want to swap out some scenes, you can just type in what you want. So I could be like a change accent of voice to deep mail, something like that. Click generate. It's going to go ahead and process this. This is amazing. I'm going to come back when it's done. It's regenerating the voiceover and it has uh, nine things to go through. When it's done, I'll show you what it came back with. All right, it's done apparently. That was only took like 10 seconds. Let's see what it came with. Have you ever wondered how a single city could change the course of history? Look at well, that. That is fantastic. Unbelievable. If you want to go in and go a little more, I just clicked on the edit media button. And look at that. I can swap out some of these things. So here is the second scene doesn't really work for me. So I'll select the second scene. And then what do I want to do? I don't know. Maybe I want to swap it out. I can just go down here and I can replace it with something I upload. Or I can search for something like uh, war and then hit enter and see what I find here. And it will load up some different stock media. So you're not forced to take whatever they give you. You can go ahead and swap it out. So I like this one here. It looks kind of like a, a cool little war shot. So I'll hit replace. And presto, it's gone ahead and put it over top of the old one. And if I want to apply it, I just click on apply. And literally, it just does this. And literally, you have to have no technical skills and you're off to the races. Let me show you what this has done. And then we'll go through the export process and then that'll be wrap it up. All right, so that only took a few seconds. And if I scroll through the timeline here, well, let's just take a look right there. There's the first shot. Look at that. The second shot is replaced. It was literally done. I didn't have to touch a single button other than just 
do it. So I'm previewing it in 40, 408p. If you want to go ahead and export it, let's go to that process. So for exporting it, if you like it, you can just click on this little export button right here and it says export video. You get a few options. If you want a free option and you're okay with the watermarks, and if you're just getting started or you're just learning, you could possibly want to keep the branding and the watermarks. Go ahead, you get up to 1080p. If you want to remove the watermarks and remove some of the branding, which I understand if you're, you know, if you've got a few bucks and that's your thing, you can just click on upgrade and then you can purchase it for, I believe, what's that say, $20 a month and you get 60 exports per month, 50 minutes of AI generation, which is not bad, but you know, nothing great, but there you go. These are your options, but there is a free option and you can get it with watermarks and get used to creating videos on YouTube just like that. That's all there is for this video. Thanks for watching.